All right, so we're back to installing the 40 millimeter uh, reed valve. And uh, I wanted to try to fit this hose over the stock one without grinding it down and shortening it up and all that fun stuff, but it just, I couldn't get it to fit. Some guy said if I get this really hot, I might be able to fit it over the original one without any modifications and maybe that's possible. This is a three quarter inch um, hose. You can, it's like, uh, you could use it for, uh, you know, gas line or air line or anything. That's the type of hose this is. Okay, and then we've got here is a half inch pipe, and the half inch pipe fits inside of the performance carburetor. It's just about the same size as this little guy that's in here, the little plastic adapter. Uh, as far as getting it to fit in the NT carb, that's a whole other situation. You might have to shave it down or get it a uh, different size or something, or grind it, I don't know. Anyway, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna cut this uh, right here and right here and just get the threads off and then it'll be more than long enough uh, to stick in the uh, carburetor and in the hose and then I'm going to have to measure where I want to cut the hose and cut it and then I can slide this back and forth inside the hose hopefully and uh, then the other thing you need is a little bracket uh, like a little piece of metal or something that goes around the frame here to strap the carburetor to so you can put it where you want it the level you want and uh, there is a little piece of metal that came if you watch my unboxing video in the kit with two holes in it that I should be able to use for that because that's actually what it's for is to use on the frame as a bracket so um, anyways all right Hot. You might want to dip it in some water or something, use gloves, turn it around, do it again. Make sure you get all the debris out of here so it'll get in the engine. So make sure it's all nice and clean. Now while I'm waiting for this to cool down, um, I'm going to try to clean out this pipe using pipe cleaner. This one appears to be, well I guess it's just right. Oh, it's going to be too big. All that debris there. I want that getting in the engine. All right, there's still some burrs on here and just stuff that's gonna make it hard to put it in the hose and things that could fall up inside and restrictions and things like that. So let's just see if we can quickly go around. Stuff flying in my face. how this fits in the carburetor and the engine and everything. Unplug the Dremel tool so we don't have a mishap. Okay, so get this out. Now before I put this in there, I should clean this out. So let's uh, try to run paper towel through it real quick. Now to keep it from rusting, if it's steel, we can put uh, some oil on the ends or whatever just so that it doesn't want to rust. If we painted it, there might be paint that tries to go in the engine, and we don't want that, so. That looks pretty good. Doesn't quite want to fit. I might have to make it a little smaller. It doesn't want to fit in the NT carb either. Um, 
But I think that this will actually tie it as good. So let's see if we can uh, loosen this up and get it to fit in there. Now it's a little reluctant, but it's actually going in there. Uh, I'm not sure that it's all the way in, but it's it's getting there. Um, I mean, I could grind the end of the down a little bit so that it wants to go in there better. Maybe that's what I should do. All right, so I shaved this down just a little bit, and now it fits. I think some grease would probably help keep that from rusting or anything there and on the edges here but anyways for right now uh, we just need to make sure that this will go into the pipe or in our hose here and it looks like it will if we there we go it's going in there now i got it I got it in there um i mean i could shave it down a little bit to make it go in um but unless we want the carburetor clear back here we're gonna have to cut this up here somewhere. So let's pull it out and figure out where we need to cut the pipe. So uh, I want the carburetor to go about right here and to be flat and straight. And it might have to go kind of back here. But anyways, before we figure this out, we gotta figure out our um, place where we're gonna cut this hose. So um, I'm thinking, We'll start cutting up here and maybe work our way back. I got this cutter right here. I don't know how it's gonna work, but we can try it first. If it doesn't work, we can try something else. But um, first, we'll try cutting right here and see how far uh, forward we need to go. Okay, so this cutter is not working, so I'm just gonna have to go get some uh, a branch cutter and try that instead. Oh, here we go. And cutter. Let's try that. didn't cut it very straight but it should work so let's try that now the carburetor is actually level and technically it would work right here the only problem with this particular spot is that we might get uh, some stuff off the tire going on to our air filter so we might shield that from the tire but other than that this spot um, would technically work uh, but uh, I'm gonna get it in further uh, what we could do is cut this back maybe just a little bit more and then the carburetor would come forward enough where we could actually attach it to uh, this post here. So let's do that. Yeah, that's about right. So now what we do is uh, loosen this whole step up a little bit more maybe and just slide it up. It's barely fitting this one. So there we go. Tighten that down on there. Of course you need to hook up your fuel line and all the other fun stuff and want to make sure that this is completely level before we tighten this up too much. So, twist this. There we go. That's better. That's level ish. Okay, now tighten up our hose clamp. Alright, now we can turn this this direction uh, for the throttle, unless we want to make the throttle wrap around and come back or something. It probably should turn this way. Um, then we want to attach this to the seat post. We don't want it bouncing up and down like this or moving back and forth. So how are we going to do that? Okay, so this little metal piece that came in our kit, it's, it comes flat and you bend it and you put it around the seat post. And then uh, you might put some rubber in between that and the seat post, but um, 
in any case you spin that around there and now you have two metal places that you squeeze together and hook together and then you can run something through that and hook it on to the carburetor strap it there now the thing is I'm not supposed to put this carburetor on here until the engine is broken in so for that reason um, I'm not going to be uh, finishing this installation with this uh, mount here at this time unless I can find a way to make the NT carburetor fit there and uh, I can give that a try real quick so I've got some good fuel line and stuff that I've got for this extra length to here and everything to hook this up and I don't want to put that in right now because uh, the NT carb is hooked up the right way and it's working I put the old manifold back on and everything until this bike is broke in and then we'll go ahead and put this uh, back on again but at least now you can see how to do it so thanks for watching the video please like comment share and subscribe and Jesus bless you please click on the links in the description of the video go to our patreon give us some help and uh, go to christiancourts.com also uh, if you want to know how to win in court make sure you click that link how to win in court all right